live music with you again since all the various other people <coughs> around here. So yes, congratulations to that. Uh, take a moment to turn your cell phones off if they're on, or put them on silent. Um, today, our uh, trio that's with us um, today is F+, and they are a trio committed to committed to um, creating a repertoire for their very unique instrumentation, which you can see oh, some of the things that are set up here. Our musicians today are Luke Lentini on violin, Nico Chono on clarinet, and Josh Graham is percussion. The trio has pr premiered and commissioned over 40 works for violin, clarinet, percussion, uh, for th those, that instrumentation receiving grants and awards from numerous organizations. Violinist Luke Lentini is a fellow with the Civic or Orchestra of Chicago. Luke completed degrees at Oberlin and Northwestern University. As a member of Civic, he has performed alongside artists such as Yo-Yo Ma and Kev David Masur. Mazur. Mazur. Is it Mazur? Mazur. I know Yo-Yo Ma, and I don't know him personally, but I know how to say his name. Clarinetist Nico Chono grew up in Texas and was educated at Rice University and the University of Texas. He currently performs with the Civic Orchestra of Chicago and he works with Chicago Youth Symphony Orchestra. Our percussionist Josh Graham is a soloist, chamber musician, orchestral musician, drum set artist, and educator based in Chicago. He has performed at Carnegie Hall, Art Institute of Chicago, Constellation, the Milwaukee Museum of Art, the Detroit Institute of Art, and universities throughout the country. Josh received his education at Central Michigan University, the University of Michigan, and is currently in the final stages of his DMA at the University of Illinois. Congratulations, good luck on that. So again, as a reminder, silence your cell phones, and please enjoy the concert. <coughs>
Thanks so much for being here today, and thanks to those of you who are tuning in on the live stream. Uh, my name is Josh Graham. I'm the percussionist in F+. That first piece you heard is by Chris Stark um, called Borrowed Chords. It was written in 2010, but it, uh, it's one of the pieces that we as a group have adapted for our unique instrumentation. So it was originally written for violin, clarinet, and piano, um, and I met Chris and kind of took a look at his catalog and saw that the piece wasn't too pianistic, and it could kind of work on the marimba with some light adaptations. So uh, it's a piece that uh, the group has performed a lot and it's been a lot of fun to work on. Uh, Chris is a professor of composition at um, Washington University in St. Louis and um, is a, writes a lot about uh, the American um, landscape. He grew up in Montana and that influences his music quite a bit. The next piece we're gonna play for you um, highlights a whole nother percussion setup. So because you know I'm a percussionist, we. Uh, get to have lots of different instruments that we include on our program. So we asked uh, several composers uh, when we were first starting to play a lot more um, to write pieces for this suitcase setup of smaller instruments that I could fit on a tabletop that could go in a suitcase, which could go on a plane because we, we tour a lot. Um, and Liza took on the challenge very well. So Liza Sobel Crane, she was recently married, so she's got to remember to put the crane on now. Liza Sobel Crane wrote this piece for us. Um, and it's in four movements. Uh, and it, it's, it's so creative in how it pairs these different colors and instruments together. You'll hear me using brushes on the snare drum, um, and that's kind of matched by these breath sounds on the clarinet. You'll hear pizzicato on the violin, and that's matched with rim shots on the snare drum. Um, lots of cool coloristic things that she does, but she's always got this melodic element to it as well. Um, you know, sometimes when I play pieces that include, you know, like, wine bottles and wood blocks and things like that. I just assume people aren't going to like this. But <laughs> every time I play this for whatever audience it is, um, people are always come away so interested in, in this piece. And I think Liza does such a good job of melding these kind of um, unique compositional ideas with a, a strong sense of, of melody. So we hope you like this trio of hers in four movements.
All right, the next piece is by uh, Jesse Montgomery. Jesse is uh, the current Mead composer in residence with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. Um, she's a violinist and composer who um, has a lot of different influences. Um, and we met her in 2017 at a residency um, at the Avalok Farm Mu Music Institute in New Hampshire. Um, and she heard us play and she's like, oh, it'd be really fun to write for your, for your instrumentation. And, um, you know, uh, Jesse wasn't like, she, she was gaining a lot of recognition, but she wasn't like a big deal yet. <laughs> so we were kind of able to get in on the ground floor in a way. Um, we really, you know, we applied for a number of grants and we're really uh, thrilled to get a, a grant from Chamber Music America to help fund the commission. Um, and so th this, this piece is really fun and exciting. Um, we premiered it at the Ear Taxi Festival um, at the Paul in um, uh, October uh, of last year. And uh, the piece has a lot of um, spots where we're semi-improvising, where we have like little cells of uh, musical ideas that kind of layer over top of each other. And in the other sections where we have kind of repetitive material happening in one instrument, while the other instruments kind of unfold other ideas on top of it. Um, so if you like this piece, that Jess Jesse has plenty of other pieces you'll be able to hear um, with the Chicago Symphony and, and around town as well. She also curates the Music Now series currently for the CSO. So um, you'll be hearing more of her music and more music that interests her too if you, you make it out there. But we hope you enjoy this piece by her.
next piece on the program is by Matthew Barnson. He's a New York-based composer. He uh, teaches at Stony Brook University on Long Island. Um, this piece titled Sempre Dolce is a common musical term that we'll see. It means always sweetly. Um, and this piece was premiered at the, uh, at the Detroit Institute of Arts as part of the Great Lakes Chamber Music Festival in 2019. Um, that whole festival uh, took its inspiration from, uh, you know, Beethoven's 250th um, uh, birth year, or, uh, what, is that right? Anniversary of his birth. Anniversary of his birth. Um, and the, the piece takes its inspiration from the slow, like the form of a, the slow movement of a classical era piano concerto. Um, and it has these beautiful textures to it, and the main thing that it's kind of built around is, is the violin. So the, he asks that the violinist plays with the practice mute on the entire time. Um, do you want to show him? Yeah, so the, it sounds pretty different. Um, here's without, it's like. And this is actually a metal mute coated in rubber. And when you stick it on the bridge. It's what I use so my neighbors let me practice at home. <laughs>
Thank you. The last piece on the program is uh, the only one that was not written for the group or arranged for the group. Um, and it's by a Pulitzer Prize winner, Kevin Putz. Um, he teaches at the Peabody Conservatory in Baltimore. Um, and the piece is called And Legions Will Rise. And in the program note, he talks about the idea that this piece is supposed to be about our ability to overcome um, great challenges in our life. And um, the piece is really, it's beautiful. It's challenging. It's really fun to play. Um, I hope you enjoy it.